It's a great occasion to celebrate what will be a new era for rugby and, and this investment really epitomises what our government is trying to do for sport. Um, this is going to be a lighthouse for grassroots rugby all around the state. Uh, it's going to facilitate uh, the, the emerging uh, support of emerging talent uh, in rugby ranks all around the state, but also as a home for these elite players and their strength and conditioning coaches, uh, their, their, the administrators. This is a great facility for rugby and I'm so proud that the New South Wales government has contributed $20 million to make uh, this happen. It's a building that uh, clearly has high performance built into it, but it's a, it's a place and a location for all of New South Wales rugby. We've got everyone from uh, men's and women's programs through to our juniors, our seniors, our community game, Positive Rugby Foundation, all under the one roof, helping drive forward our agenda, which is to maximise participation numbers in New South Wales. And we can't wait. And we really just want to thank the New South Wales government for their contribution and also the University of New South Wales for the agreement that we've come here to be here for 20 plus years. It's an amazing opportunity for rugby in New South Wales. Well, the boys are bouncing to work. I haven't uh, I had to kick them out rather than drag them in like uh, normal. And as you can see, we've got an amazing training facility, amazing training field, and uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier. First and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge the support of the New South Wales Government, represented here today by the Minister for Sport, the Honourable Alistair Heskins, SCMP. Thank you, Minister. This project would not have been possible without the New South Wales Government's generous grant of $20 million. I'd also like to acknowledge the special partnership that we are forging with the University of New South Wales. This building and the training fields are a part of university's impressive David Phillips complex and by arrangement with the university will be our home for the next 20 years and beyond.